having personal business as well. What is up, Affected? Welcome to the Nerdy Effect. Are we flipped right? Yeah, yeah, we're flipped right. You can read marbles. How you guys doing? Welcome to the show. Uh, yes, we are early, and yes, this is tilted down. Let me fix that right there. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, I am in my festive Christmas sweater this evening. That's right. Sometimes you got to go a full nerd, right? So I, I, I broke out my Mario. Nerd. Huh? You never go full nerd. You always go full nerd. Yes. Sweet sweater. Yeah. See, I knew it was going to be coming. I knew it was going to be topic of conversation, so I had to break it I out. I have a Christmas R2D2 sweater. You do? I do. Why don't you wear it? Because I'm not on camera. Why are you naked over there? I Because I can be. <laughs> Oops, sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> nice sweeter. Sweeter. It's sweeter. a sweeter in Belgium. Sweeter. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything <laughs> is sweeter in Belgium. It's actually a chocolate sweater. You actually, you, you be like, look how festive. And then you can take it no, off and you, eat it. You peel Mario. He's got marshmallows inside. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. I hope you guys had a fantastic Tuesday. Uh, my Tuesday was very blurry, so... Blurry, um, that's why I'm having wine. Uh, yeah, and uh, to do an update, yes, I am feeling a little bit better than Monday. Monday was a bad day, man. I did not feel good the entire day. It was just, ugh, bad in general. Um, we will get to the turtle. I know that the turtle was talked about. We will get to it. Calm your titties. Calm the hell down and all that other stuff. Mario sweater power up. What's going on, Fred? How you doing, man? Uh, <laughs> freaking late. You no, go. no, you're not late. Technically, oh, it finally failed. That's bad. All right. Um, let's see. I was doing an experiment with the app. Actually, I am about ten minutes early, and um, the reason that I'm that early is because I thought the app was gonna fail me so many times. So the fact that it worked on the first try threw me off. So I'm like. Well, I guess we're starting early. So, uh, no, you're Dirty South. You were right on schedule, my man. Uh, no, you calm down. You calm down, Christina. Although, they're pretty fantastic. The Christina I know has fantastic boobs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> boxes, more boxes. It is more boxes. It is. Uh, honestly, I have five boxes to get through tonight. That's my goal. Probably won't happen. My goal is to get through five. I have a few things to talk about. And I bought myself a Christmas present. Uh, because you can never have too many Christmas presents, apparently. Did you buy me a Christmas present? No. All right. So, uh, <laughs> on Monday's show, I showed this thing, and I actually, I already threw the box away, but it was called Potty Golf. So oh, basically, goodness. it was this little thing you put in front of your toilet, your toilet, you put in front of your toilet, and then you could like putt while on the pooper. Well, I didn't open it because we were sort of like in a rush to get done in an hour. Uh, so I actually opened it and I have to show you how craptacular this thing is. Oh, it's uh, not any fun. Oh no, it's terrible. All right, so um, this is the green that came with it, right? So there's there's the green, right? And this part goes in front of your toilet. And then, uh, the, but the, no, no, it's cool because it's a green and it's cool it's because it's a fabric. But the problem is if you have uh, linoleum or tile or anything in your bathroom, you know what this thing does? It f***ing slides! Oh, put some of that carpet tape underneath. I am not putting carpet tape on a $4 putty potty. <laughs> not gonna happen. Just not gonna happen. Cute sweater. Thank you very much. I wore it just for you. You and me, <laughs> we're going to a party soon. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I, I can't even put this down because if I walk in the bathroom in the middle of the night or early in the morning, I'm going to bust my ass. So I can't even put it down, so I have to actually throw it away. But I wanted to show you guys, don't buy that crap. However... This is the, <laughs> that would take up the whole bathroom, I know, but this is the actual uh, like little thing where you put into the little hole and it comes with three different golf balls, which are just, you know, regular like wiffle ball golf balls. There we go. And that's neat. That's not terrible. That's bigger than my bathroom floor. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It won't fit between the toilet and the counter in mine, but regardless, it's a slip hazard. OSHA would not approve. Uh, it also comes with a uh, stand to hold one of your golf balls in case you're teeing off from the bathtub. <laughs> right? And then uh, people were asking, <laughs> slat and poop, people were asking about the putter. It does come with its own putter that is extendable. So, I mean, it actually is. I mean, it is like you can actually, you know, shit and, and play golf. Chico, what's going on? Uh, so there it is, right? And then not only does it come with the balls, the green... Uh, the putter, but it also comes with this. One, hello, Vizzy, and two, he's been hearing interesting things about problems. It also comes with this, the made-for-avid golfer do-not-disturb-turlet-golf. 
it hangs on the door. That way you know exactly what's going on there when somebody is yelling, shit, putter, sand, and all this other stuff. <laughs> you know what's going on. So I had to show that, and yeah, these pieces will go in my bathroom somewhere, but as far as the trip hazard, not gonna happen. Somebody needs to fix the app. Yeah, I know. I, I, I agree with you, 100%. Um, so let's open this box. Now, this is just one of the random boxes. Uh, I have my own putter, wink, wink. I mean, I have a set of golf clubs as well, and I got the joke, but I have my own set of golf clubs as well, but you really can't, you know, putt from there with a real putter unless you have that old school putter that goes on your chin, and in that makes your joke completely bad. Uh, just are you okay with being in the bathroom for three hours? <laughs> I'm on hole nine, come back later. <laughs> Carl, what's going on, Red Shame? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Uh, I see fishing one. There's a fit. No, 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 no. There could not be a fishing one because you're fishing in the tournament bowl. Say, what, yeah, yeah. Fishing, Don't exactly. worry. I'm on the 18th hole. All right. So we got another box to open. Uh, I believe this is box number 39. Oh, okay. All right. Um, these are uh, some of the glass bottles that have some have alcohol in it that I've collected over the years. What's going on, Drew Baca? How you doing, man? Uh, this actually came from the world of Coca-Cola. I believe this is in Georgia. Yeah, from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, a friend of mine went down there and toured the Coca-Cola factory, and this is what they brought back as uh, just a souvenir. So, yeah, for the guy who has turlet golf, of course you have to have a beverage as well. Drew Baca! That's right, that's right. Yes, there's a fishing one. Where do you fish? Uh, there should be a duck hunt one. <laughs> With like a 10 gauge, pow, yeah, <laughs> who left a ball, <laughs> Fizz Kid, to what do we owe the pleasure, do you even know what this show's about anymore, uh, Drew, 10 platinum behind you, oh no, uh, beverage, is that a can man, that's right, we've got even more to go to, um, this is a, uh, basically it's an, just, it's not old school, but it's from a couple years ago, 2013. Uh, this is just a glass Coca-Cola bottle that's got that classic Saint Nick on there. And uh, I just decided to keep it and didn't open it. And it's still got the liquid in there. Don't drink that. That fart sounded wet, sir. <laughs> well, I have been eating a lot of Indian food lately. Uh, the worst part of the poop golf is the ball rolls way too far. Well, that's why you just, you know, shorten your bathroom for the game. Or you put multiple holes around so that way, you know, you're putting for six, but you land on 17. It's a win anyway. Looks tasty, I want some. No, you don't. But you might want some of this right here. This is Belgian beer. Right, no, it got me Belgian beer. This is Palm uh, Special Belge Ale. This is, uh, my friend Hero sent me this. And this is one that I just could not open. I could not bring myself to open it. Uh, number one, because I'm not a huge beer fan, but number two, because I actually like this bottle. And I know you can keep the bottle when the beverage is out of it. I get it. But I actually do enjoy it with the liquids in there. Like I like my butt with my liquid. And then the last one that's in this is another Belgian beer. This is Lefe. This is a Brun Brun. A Brun Brun. It's a, it says... Percent El Sambaton Kikinga on von Gunfar Smack. It actually says smack at the end of it. Uh, but this is a Belgian Bjar. Look, 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 look. Belgian Bjar. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Belash <laughs> Bjar. Again, I did not open it because this one, it has one of those fancy tops like a wine bottle, so I couldn't. Anyway, those will go into the collection. Uh, again, there's some things I just don't like to open. Sorry I've been missing. Fizz, listen, you don't have to apologize. Life always comes first. This show is something fun that I do. The fact that you guys can just pop in here is basically something fun to do. If life comes first, take care of life things. Uh, the new Belgian melon beer that uh, fake... He was telling that Belgian beer that he had was fake. Okay. Um... Uh, Palm, palm it, ginger collared beer. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're both it's doing it now. Uh, I could go for a smack right now. Oh, Fizz Kid liking the penis against the face. I got you. Uh, I bought a Star Wars bounty hunter, thought it had a plant. Nerum. <laughs> Reading is not your song. Platinero. What's a platinero? Nerum. What's that word? 
What's that word? I imagine he's trying to say platinum since that's kind of his. That is not. That is that is not say platinum. It's one letter away from saying that's platinum. That's that says platinum all. Pla platinum. -o? <laughs> Bros. Uh, <laughs> but I don't. But, but you don't what? I don't even know what we're talking about. Bros, I'm done reading your the comment. Star Wars bounty hunter didn't have a platinum, but he thought he had. Uh, SWAT simulator toilet game. So, I see, I can't, I want to say toilet from now on. Toilet. I don't want to say toilet. <laughs> it's a toilet. It is a toilet. Um, this is actually a small box. I don't know what's in it, but it was packaged very breakable. Mr. Mexico. Oh my God. Mexico. Speaking of people who don't watch my show no mo, <laughs> and speaking of people who gave up on streaming, what the hell, Ron? You're not allowed to take a break till after Christmas. Oh. Eat a D. Uh, Buka has passed out, but she says hi. Uh, Buka. Is she like a sleep That's talker? Buka. I don't understand. Well, I'm a sleep talker, so you tell me. Yeah, but you don't talk to people in streams. Or do I? If you woke up in the middle of the night and go, tell Ron Mexico I said hi, I would leave. I would never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Breakable banner. Uh, I don't know, but it's it's like lightly taped, and I don't. I still haven't found my knife yet. Uh... <laughs> Where the hell are you came out of the day? Oh God, that's it. You know what? I'm no more. They break my brain. You're almost fizz kid. Congratulations. I understand. She mumbles. What you said, bros. All right, so let's find it. It's got some. Uh, it's got some plastic wrap. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I figured out what this is. All right, so we've got. This is a two-parter in this box. All right. Now it's in my head, it might happen, Ron. It actually made it. I cannot believe it made it. I should have just carried it, but whatever. All right. Oh, dude, the cascaron. The cascaron. <laughs> yeah, I, all right, it, it's in bad shape, but check this out, guys. All right, so this is called a cascaron, and I have had this for, I mean, at least 15, at least 15 years, right? Something like that, 15, 17 years, between that. It's been right? a while. And what this, uh, this was actually made in a Spanish class that I took, and What's inside here is confetti, and you packed it with confetti, and then you sealed up the bottom. And this was like you would just like break it over your friend's head for like birthdays or something like that. Um, and it, it's got be back, it, it had some damage, but overall, for the the length of an egg, a hard boiled not hard boiled. I'm not sure what the hell we did with it this. It would have had to been hard, hard boiled. I mean, yeah, it's a hard. hollowed out egg that's filled with confetti, and it, this is something that means a lot to me because it's lasted so damn long. Yeah, don't drop it. That's why it was wrapped in that We're lightly box. Because it was made in a class we shared together and I saved your butt from I know, getting right? trouble every other day. We're not getting into that. Shut up. Anyway, so there's my cascaron. Uh, should be back in an hour. What? No, you're not allowed to leave. Jizzy says kids. this jig like a rupee. Oh, God damn it. Dead throat. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I've had it. it I've had it with all of you. I've had it with every damn one of you. From now on, I'm reading uh, Super Chica's comments and... That's it. That's it. She's the only one. You know what? From now on, the rest you can just eat a D. Eat a big old D. Uh, no, I'm, I'm tired. I'm nope. Not even. Not, I, I wish I could put my hand in front of the comment so I didn't have to read it, bros. That's what you get. No, no. You can only break my brain so much. Like Fizz Kid is sort of made like an art form out of it, but it seems like this entire show, everybody's like, I'm gonna hit random words. This is not list wits. Or you just aren't reading. Dude. D DMK. All right, I'll read DMK stuff. What about not Vinny? <laughs> no, no. I don't like that guy. He complains. <laughs> because I'm early. Uh, so the last thing that's in this box, uh, this is my uh, Kabukio. Uh, see, empty box. This is my Kabukio um, Ghostbuster. Now this, I'm not going to lie, if the female Ghostbusters movie looked similar to this, I might have been a little bit more enthused. Uh, not saying anything, just, just saying. Uh, but uh, So this is the Kabukio. And what's cool is that this is sort of mimicked as to what Ray D. Sauce drew for me back here. Uh, it's very close. Uh, I can't remember her name. I want to say it's like Kimmy or something like that. Amy. I can't remember her actual name. But uh, look at the boobs. Look at them. And then she's got like that thong peeking out, which I'm a big thong guy. So that works. And just a torn up Ghostbusters outfit that I really dig. And it's basically a statue, but it's, uh, I believe it's Kabukio. Uh, <laughs> only small D's here. <laughs> oh, Random words that make no sense, but no matter what you say, don't read monkey. <laughs> What's going on, Big Tokes? How you doing, man? Uh, hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. So there is my uh, Kabukio, and I cannot remember her name. It's not Kimmy. It's not Amy. Ah, damn. 
I cannot remember. But anyway, it's fantastic. Uh, those boobs look that. like mine. No, they do not. Your, you yours. Know? I picture. You I, know how Christina Lopez do. Yeah, I'm, I picture Christina Lopez have like multiple piercings to the nipple, not just that <laughs> one cute little bar or something like that. It's kind of like it's got like six spikes coming out, and then like it shoots um, uh, tequila. <laughs> Uh, finally, I'm glad I opened that right here. Uh, you guys really can't see it, but it is from one of my favorite places to shop and also Critter's favorite, which is Home Depot. Tell him happy birthday if you see him. Uh, this is a big old gigantic heavy box. I don't know what is in it. Oh. Oh, we might only get through this box tonight. Do you need to show your Donatello? No, we'll save that for uh, the end. I kind of want to do it around 6.30. So let me know when it's 6.30. Is that, okay. is that close? No. Ms. Ginger, how you doing? Um, how you doing? There's a lot of stuff. This was like one of the main... Um, this is one of the main focal points in the, in the previous show. It's a nice box. Home Depot banner! So we do have the... Uh, this isn't a classic, but this is... The big uh, figure for Cobra Commander. They're like, what are these 12 inches, something like that? The 12 inch Cobra Commander G.I. Joe doll with removable. Oh, look how angry he is. It looks like Ron Mexico with a bandana. What's going on, Mr. Freddy's Ready? How you doing, my man? Uh, it's a nice box. So there he is, uh, just Cobra Commander. I think I'm gonna put him in my bathroom. Uh, then we have something wrapped up. Toast wants to know where you buy your Home Depot boxes at. Where do I buy my Home Depot boxes at? Lowe's. <laughs> uh, so this is something Dark Side Killer really hated me when I unwrapped it back you in the day. Tell people what you asked Santa for, Chica, or else you won't get it. It's like a birthday wish. Go that's on. true. That's true. And then Santa works in mysterious ways. The dude likes to watch me when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Uh, so you don't tell him anything out loud. He peeks at you through your clothes. I knew it wrong, <laughs> Cobra Commander. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is my Cylon Centurion bust. And this really made uh, Darkseid really angry because it is a limited edition collectible and it is one of 1,000. So this is number one off the production line. Snoopy! And this is just Snoopy. a badass I mean, statue. I mean, it's heavy. You can feel the worth. And I got a hell of a deal on it, too. I think I, I paid like 10 bucks for it. But I mean, it is a badass bus. And I don't own very many bus Freddy, either. Freddy, watch you when you're sleeping. Well, yeah, but that's because I pay him. Uh, Miss Snoopy, how you doing, girly? Uh, cool, don't you know what There's in it, it's them stuff. when you he buy them? Mark the boxes. No, uh, <laughs> uh, big. Uh, the game he's playing with himself. Basically, me and my friends packed up my entire collection to move it down in here to the new toy cave. Um, toy cave? Whatever. Um, and I, I did it sort of on purpose. I basically packed up my collection so that I could show it on the show individually and sort of just surprise myself. So technically, no, I don't. But yeah, um, Blazing Fireman. Uh, <laughs> buy my boxes at Home Depot and get free Mexicans to pack them. <laughs> it's not racist if it's true, right? Um, <laughs> J. Doob. Uh, okay, so we, we have the, uh, the Simpsons Mobile, or the Homer Mobile. I'm sorry, the Homer, uh, still a Hot Wheels, and interesting segue, oh, I get you, yes, uh, don't piss him off, you'll wake up with scratches on your face, is that how you like it, you dirty girl? Uh, Nerd Cave and Nerd Hall, thank you, heroes, uh, Budka watches me sleep, says I look very peaceful, he almost looks that's dead. That's not creepy at all, um, I don't care if we live together, that's kind of creepy, dude. Quick, quick segue, <laughs> Let, let's just do this quick segue into the piece that I picked up today, because, uh, hi to the girl. We haven't found Side Sheep yet. Um, but even though I'm still unboxing the collection and finding stuff, I'm still out there in the wild looking for things. And today, I picked up another Hot Wheels car to go with that one. And this isn't part of the box, but I picked this up today. And this is actually Kit from Foxy, Knight Rider. Nice firsties, bud. I could not pass it up. I, I don't, I'm not a huge Hot Wheels collector. I had them when I was a kid. I think everybody did. I think every childbirth came with a surfing Michelangelo oh, nice. TMNT figure and Hot Wheels. Uh, but anyway, as I was walking by, dinner. Uh, as I had to pick up there. Kit just because it's badass. And again, he, some of these I just don't open. The box isn't in great condition, but I had to pick it up. Ooh, Kit Hot Wheels. I know. Toy Dad Nerds, how you guys doing? Uh, you got the butler cooking dinner? <laughs> the answer is yes. 
Um, all right, so back into it. Um, Damn, I cannot remember what the hell these are called. Maybe the instructions are in there and then I don't sound stupid. So we're gonna move down into here. I found a kryptonite rock. We went to Metropolis, Illinois, which is the home of Superman, you know, Metropolis. They actually have a Superman store there and we picked up some kryptonite and it actually glows in the dark. And this is just what it is. Um, there he is, finally, finally. The original TMNT Raphael with, say it everybody, say it. How do we know he's original? How do we know he's original? Because his head is totally hard as a rock. That's wrong. That's <laughs> completely wrong. Uh, totally Pokemon going. That's not the proper use of that word. Is Jack the god of pogs visiting you for Christmas? I hope. No, god oh, damn, no. No. <laughs> Hello, I'm French. Uh, oui, oui. Bonjour. Baguette. Eiffel Tower. Uh, squishy! See, Snoopy got it right. Um, there's a Christmas present, boy! <laughs> so anyway, this is the original Raphael, and how you know it's got the squishy head. Finally, he can go up there on the shelf with his original squishy head brothers, and we can complete the entire collection. I've been looking for him for a while. They can be the squishy head Keep that kryptonite rock in case the Kryptonians try to conquer us. Don't worry, gay man, I will, and if they do, I will send one to you. I think the mail will still run if Kryptonians try to conquer us. Of course. Okay. Mail runs in sleet, rain, and snow, or whatever it Boom, is. Boom! Another pop pops up. There's Jax Teller from Sun of Anarchy. This is one of the better pops. I really like this pop. And this was close to the front line of my pop addiction. I want to say maybe he was around, around, around 10, 15, something like that. So that's early, early, early. Um, where's this other sigh? In a different bag. Chill the hell out. The head is soft. Wait, head is soft after work. That's how you know. <laughs> we, got, we got different f fields of work, sir. Um, so, uh, now, some of my older school viewers will enjoy this. Um, I believe this is second gen. I don't think this is first gen, but this is second gen. Evil Knievel doll. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the collection knows no boundaries. So there is the Evil Knievel, ball, Evil Knievel doll with the uh, belt and the helmet intact. And I know what you're already preaching. Yeah, right, now, D, if you got Evil Knievel, I bet you got, don't got his motorcycle. Well, I do. I just don't know where the hell it's at. <laughs> I bet that raft doesn't weigh, doesn't weigh seven pounds. <laughs> but I know which one will. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. What time is it? You got 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You got to hang out for 15 minutes. Yeah, keep showing Jack, -a -pog, Jack your pogs. <laughs> Waiting for payday for Titanfall Pops. Oh, my God. Pops are about to kill me. Yeah, I don't know if you even saw it, but they've released... Uh, Fallout companion pops, including Cogsworth. We gotta have a Cogsworth. Oh, they all look good. They all look really good. Mario Brothers is good. I agree. Yes. Uh, Heroes talk French for Kenwood. Uh, Knievel, he jumps over large poodles. Uh, motorcycle with launch pad. I don't it's have the good. launch pad. I the, the only reason I actually have the motorcycle is because I was in a Goodwill, and I happened to look down, and I saw this, this motorcycle, I'm like... Ooh. I think that this is actually Evil Knievel, so I picked it up for less than a dollar, and then I had to have the thing to go with it. No Irish sexiness, bad fun co. What? Um, <laughs> Fallout slut pops for Jizzy. I know. Stu! Stu Badesso! What's going on, my man? I love that name. It is such a good play on words. It's like Ben Dover, Stu Padasso. It's fantastic, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm dreading buying the second Marvin of the Spaceship. Dude, it looks so good, though. They made Marvin the Martian with a spaceship. Of course it is. It looks so good. It looks good. Mm -hmm. I must be a nerd because I love your streams. Big Toke, I love you because you toke, and I wish that I could, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so it's a reverse love. All right, so I have the uh, um, Star Wars Elite Finn, and this is the actual, this is the die cast. I mean, these are heavy ass figures. Uh, somewhere in this world, there's a Kylo Ren and a Vader. We opened Vader a while ago. He's actually up there. Um, I know I want, you're going to get it. Don't worry. One badass beard. Evil Knievel was so in inverted. <laughs> oh my God. You're bringing that back. You're bringing that back because I was inverted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, so there he is. There's Finn. Uh, one of my new favorite Star Wars characters. Now, without doing any Rogue One spoilers, I liked 90% of the characters in Rogue One. I really did. I thought they were all really well done. It told enough of a story behind all of them to sort of get you involved like the other series. But Finn is one of my favorite characters in general now. Uh, so anyway. 
Me and Fizzy like Poe. Oh, did you like Rogue One? I loved Rogue One. I did. Most don't get it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> mm, nice jacket, that's right. Um, I absolutely loved Rogue One. I do not want to get any details because I don't want to do any spoilers. Um, fantastic movie. Is it better than the uh, original three? No, not even close. Better it's, than, the, than the second It's gen. better than the prequels, I would think, and it's not better than episode seven. Not in my opinion. Again, everybody's got their own opinion, but to me, it's not better than, than seven, and seven is the... It's sort of like the tipping point. It really is. Like, you have the original three, which will never be touched, and then you have the prequels, which can... I don't hate them. They tell an okay story, but there's just so many nitpicky stuff. And then you have seven, and Rogue One's just good, exactly. too. It's a damn good segue into the original trilogy. Rogue One was so awesome. I agree, I agree. Awesome. Got the Boba Fett die, die cast. Now, which one did you get? Did you get the white prototype or the original Boba Fett coloring? Hello, beautiful people, Mr. Swap Meat. Uh, you know, speaking of Swap Meat, oh, it fell. Speaking of Swap Meat, we got Heisenberg. I, I don't know why that segued into it, but I picture Swap Meat being a little Heisenberg-y. Uh, somewhere in here is his bag of meth and his sunglasses, or his eyeglasses. I don't know where they landed. Um... Speaking of Swap Meat, Swap Meat sent me this. I think he sent me this. Maybe I bought this. I don't remember. Uh, it's a squishy Rocketeer figure. Uh, I have a weird obsession with the Rocketeer, the comics, and the movie. Absolutely loved it. Uh, so I have to have a Rocketeer doll. Color with cape. Okay, so this, the, the original one. They made a prototype in the Elite series as well, man. It's, it's a badass figure. We got the... Uh, this is part of Funko's weird bulgy eye line. I believe the body killer sent me this, uh, but this is the Marty McFly. It's it's cool because it's Marty McFly and I'm a Back to the Future fan, um, but overall, like, why do they have to make them kind of like, um, what was, uh, damn, I cannot, Crazy Eyes from Big Daddy. Why do, why do they, not Big Daddy, um, damn, what was that movie? My brain is not working tonight. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, stick a gum on that rocket pack. No, I don't, no, they didn't go with the detail of the stick of gum on there. They did not. Uh, Walter White, cool as. That's right. Um, what was Crazy Eyes on? It, it was an Adam Sandler movie. Simpson Fight. It kind of is it Simpson Fight. It wasn't, I mean, Waterboy or anything like no, that. No, 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 no. It was the... Crazy Eyes, Crazy Eyes, Crazy Eyes. Uh, I'm at work. No. no, it wasn't Big Daddy. It was the other one. The one after Mr. Deeds. Oh, damn it! See there. Ah, ah, ah. same time. I didn't see it. Same time. Same time. Orange is the new black. Yes. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of the crazy eyes for Mr. Deeds. Uh, anyway, it's still cool. I, I can't hate on it too much. Uh, in the 90s, they made these big, uh, about 10, 10 inch figures uh, from Spider Man. They made it across the board. It was pretty much anything Marvel or DC. They made these big, tall figures. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the carnage of it. He did come with a couple of accessories, but over the years, they've just been lost. Mmm, peanut butter and gumballs. <laughs> Fantastic combination. I really there. like feet. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a true statement. Um, so, uh, to appease the Lego Lord, here is a Lego X-Wing fighter. I don't believe that's Luke in there, because it's the green R2 unit in the back, but it's basically just a little tiny X-Wing, which would be badass to hang from the ceiling, so that's definitely going to do it. Pixel Pixie! What's going on, girly pants? Moneymaker254, dude! Money, uh, you're actually in the doghouse with me, man. Just going to put it down there. You might want to sit the hell down. We're about to have a little fight. Number one? You ran too damn long last night. Oh, Seriously. God. You're like, all right, guys, we're going to get out of here. Hang on. Let's call. And then the dude picked up, and I'm like, I can't quit now. And that was fan damn -tastic. I don't know how the hell you do it, but you pulled that, boom, right out. Oh, dude, Jim, holy crap. Well, Jim's brother, whatever the hell that guy's name was. Sneaky. <laughs> I'm very sneaky. Anyway, show, uh, fantastic show, Money. I'm glad to see you back on, dude. Don't stop. Never stop. Everybody loved it last night. Uh, damn, dude. You rolled, what, three, almost three and a half hours? Fantastic show. Just stop keeping me up so damn late. Uh, ooh, we found more pops. Mr. Sunday Heat. Mr. Sunday Heat. What's going on, man? That was an awesome prank call. Yeah, yeah. I know Freddie was in there, too. I forgot about that. Uh, great work, money. See? See? You can't stop. You can't stop. You cannot stop doing it. I have rain. Water from the sky. Eek. We got a pop. Oh, well, she's showing her asset. Get around there. There we go. 
This is this is your reference time. I'm waiting for you. You better fix this shit. <laughs> no, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. I'm a good puppeteer. Uh, but anyway, so there is Jessica Rabbit and all her sexy glory. And I think this is my first female pop. I believe it was. Jessica, Jessica's vaulted, put her away. Oh, mmm. Vault that, ho. Uh, Sunday Heat, how you doing, my man? She's so red, yeah. Uh, I was going to say something else. I missed it. Uh, she's not bad. She's just drawn that way. Thank you, yeah, Liz Wits. I'm not bad. I'm just imagined and brought to real life as a bunch of guys. <laughs> That's true. Uh, here is my magic wand. I've said that to a few ladies before. Uh, but this is my magic wand. There are many like it, but this one's mine. Uh, anyway, I, there's really no reference to Harry Potter or anything. I bought this at a Renaissance fair, but it's mine. It's shaped just like this. It has green magic in it. And just to show you a reference, here's a drumstick I whittled. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> not even joking. I whittled this out of a piece of pallet. I am not even joking. Uh, <laughs> see? This is this is a piece of pallet that I whittled down into a drumstick. I don't know what... See? Whittled. Fit that somewhere else in there. Whittled. Before. Whittled. Uh, she's married to Jizzy Rabbit. Oh! <laughs> you are a wizard, nerdy. <laughs> um, here's the little crazy guy that goes with the Max character. I don't, I don't know his name. Don't even care. You can put it up there. I don't care. Moving on. I found Kylo Ren's lightsaber. You whittling me, boy. I am whittling you, boy. Kylo Ren's lightsaber. There's a lot of detail in this. There really is. And uh, some of the packing material is still on it. Awesome. Uh, but this is from the die cast. This is from the Elite series. There's a lot of detail in this saber. I, I don't know if even Kylo Ren's even in this damn box. Um, classic 80 babies. Mr. Sunday Heat will enjoy this. Green magic from the end of your wand. Needs <laughs> antibiotics. Ew. Don't be jealous. Uh, <laughs> that's a big ass toothpick. So, uh, Gen 1 right there from the Dinobots. Snarl? I think it's, I can't, it's not Snarl. I, I cannot remember his name, man. That guy was crazy ass names. But the Stegosaurus from the Gen 1 Dinobots. Transformers right there. LOL at Toy Den Nerds. Did you touch my drum set? <laughs> oh, Wash your hands. Oh, well. Step Brothers reference. Oh. What time is it? You got five minutes. Five minutes. All right, cool. I'm going to slag. It might have been slag. All right, well, I'm, I'm not going to get through this box in five minutes. There is a do-back. This is actually a pop. This is a bobblehead do-back from uh, Star Wars. Just a big-ass clunky figure. Uh, he probably won't make it to the main statement of the collection, but he's going to be there somewhere. Death sweater, though. I know, right? It's, it's, it's getting Christmassy time, you know? It's getting all the holiday seasons going on. I had to break out my Mario sweater. I don't get to wear it much. People look at you funny when you wear a sweater in July. Uh, yes, yeah, slag. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not the only guy. Red Bumblebee! <laughs> Red Bumblebee was Cliff Jumper. See, I know some of them. Thank you, Pixel. Um, all right. Here is the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure. This was from the Marvel Legends line, and this is the only Marvel Legends that I have opened and actually built the Build-A-Figure because this is freaking impressive. This is a heavy ass figure and we actually, I, I built it on the show and I actually isolated that video. So if you guys want to see me open the figures and talk about it and then build this thing, you can do that at your leisure. Uh, what's going on, Duncan? How you doing, Trans man? Cowboy. Uh, <laughs> random noises. Trans Cowboy. How you doing, my man? So there is the Hulkbuster build a figure. I mean, heavy, badass. Um, oh, there we go. There is a Vault Tech, just uh, not a bobblehead, not one of the um, the individual collectors or anything like that. This is just a Vault Tech statue, which I wish I would have waited, but I was in you know Fallout mode and all that stuff, so I had to buy it because I think I paid twelve dollars for this, and now you can get it for like four. But again, he will go on the Fallout shelf because I got a Fallout shelf. Uh, let's do one more, and then we'll do the TMNT, baby. One more Fallout reference, the Vault Tech Lunchbox. If you guys played Fallout 4, you know what this is all about. Basically, uh, whenever you would find one of these out in the wild. The saddest happy. It was, it was. You, you would open it, and then something special would come out. It could have been a new Coca-Cola. It could have been a baseball. Care. I didn't care what was ever in Right, it. right. Just the sound. It's, just... <laughs> it's like it's dying birthday party. 
Sorry. Oh, <laughs> it was. It I was. Would, they, if they would have won, if they would have put something in there to make like that, a little make that sound. sound. Yes. But yeah, they, I mean, it's a highly detailed box. I believe I got this at GameStop. It, I mean, it's just a badass deep. box, and it, it's something that'll go good on the Fallout shelf. Um. Oh, I found them anyway, so we'll do this and then we'll do the turtle. There is the Kylo Ren. This is the uh, Star Wars Elite. The only place you can get this is at the Disney store. Uh, but these are actually die cast. They're heavy. They're metal. Like, you feel like you're getting your money's worth. And they, they are badass, heavy ass figures. And there's a lot of ass in that. JJ, woo! What's going on, JJ? How you doing, man? All right, so we're going to slide this box aside. We are not done with it. Azo! Donnie, 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 Donnie. I said we were going to talk about it. No thermos? Yeah, no thermos. I don't know why. Taking With pineapples in there. thermos for you for your birthday lunchbox. I know, right? All right, let's see if I can pick him up because this is a heavy, heavy figure. Um, so... I have very, I have a very few NECA figures. They're they're very detailed, but a few of them are expensive. But I buy, I bit the bullet, and I decided to pick this up from the Toy Den nerds. Um, they they gave me the inside scoop. They said, "Hey, we're getting this. Here's what it looks like. Do you want it?" And I said, "No." And they said, "You sure you don't want it?" And I said, "No." And they said, "Come on." <laughs> and I said, "No." And they go. But Nandy! And I said, okay! So I bought it from the Toy Den Nerds, and it arrived on Monday. And it, I opened it, uh, I showed it briefly on Monday. And it was fantastic. We needed to go back. What's going on, Ian? Uh, I, I, I wanted to show it on Monday, but I really wasn't feeling good. And then there were so many damn zip ties to get him out the box. It was ridiculous. So I couldn't, and I actually sat, and it took me about 45 minutes to take all the zip ties and uh, strings off of him. It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. The elf act. Elf act. Oh, it's a Christmas <laughs> reference. Uh, but anyway, so this is the Donatello figure, and before you get into it, Nate Raw, I thought your favorite was Raphael. Well, Raph isn't released until February. But Donnie is my favorite. And Donnie is the first one to be released. So let me show you how impressive this figure is. It's made by NECA, so you know you're already going to get quality. But this is a big heavy, posable figure, and here he is. I mean, this is a big ass figure. I mean, he is huge. Look at that Turtle D. I mean, he is a big ass figure. He comes with uh, different hands. I think it's three separate hands. One is a fold up, uh, basically a clenched fist. There's a thumbs up. There's a way to grab two different grips for either hand. Um, there, there's one so you can hold the bow staff. I mean, I mean, look how detailed. I mean, he is straight from TMNT 1, the very first bro. movie in 1990. PlayStation Bra! Yeah, he is very heavy. I mean, he's probably close to four pounds at least. I mean, this is a heavy, huge ass figure. And on the back, I mean, you can even see the detail in the Boy, bow staff. Open yours because he's afraid to open his. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. But you can see that they actually put wood grain on it. I mean, it's actually, you can feel the difference in this. And then on the back, they actually put. Um, like ribbon here to hold the bow staff in. It's not like this piece of plastic. You actually tighten it down if you want to. Either or, I mean, there is a lot of detail. And then the back of his bandana is actually cloth. So you can actually pose it around this way or back this way and all that. Uh, but I mean, it is a big figure. This is the new one from NECA. And then right here, this is the original. Like that's the, look at the difference. Look at the size difference in this. I don't even know how many inches that is. I, I need, I need, um, Dark side to come in here and tell me how many inches this is. He is cool and he's heavy what and he's badass. Turtle power. And then not only, not oh, turtle power. He that's did, adorable. That is adorable. That's adorable. Uh, but so not only does it come with multiple hands, the bow staff. He also comes with a detailed slice of pizza. I mean, that is a detailed slice of pizza. Um, no, no pineapple fizz. Don't ask. Uh, but a lot. And then this is this is really my favorite accessory. It comes with the TCRI can of ooze. I mean, this is kick ass. And with one of the hands, it's actually posable enough to hold it. So he can actually carry the can of ooze, which is what Donatello is known for. Just, I mean, badass. I mean, it is it, okay, pretty ooze. much pretty much any pose you can think of, he can get in. I mean, he bends at all the joints. He's even got a joint in the, the bottom of the foot, all the knees, the elbows, the head. And inside here, he actually has a center joint. So he actually moves around the shell itself. I so, like I mean, it is a can of booze. Ooh. 
Uh, <laughs> Jack adding that to his Santa's list. Tell, well, Tell Pixie about my turtle collection. She does have a hell of a turtle collection. <laughs> so let me talk about this um, strictly uh, straight up, man. The, the Toy Den Nerds, Mallfish Collectibles, M-A-L-L-F-I-S-H, collectibles.com. You can go there right now and you can pre-order these. Uh, I believe he said February is when Raphael is coming out. You can pre-order them for a hundred bucks, which you can go ahead and Google. You can go to eBay. You will not find this for a hundred bucks. You won't. I guarantee it. I put that out there right now. You will not find this for a hundred dollars, but you can go to Malfish Collectibles or you can hit up the Toy Den Nerds on Instagram. Uh, if you can't type Toy Den Nerds, T-O-Y-D-E-N-N-E-R-D-S, in Instagram, you can go to my Instagram and then find them through there. Or I can just do all that to you and link you to them. But, I mean, it is a detailed, badass figure, and I'm going to get all four of them. Now, I know, right? Now, why don't you got the rest of them? They ain't out yet. The only one that's been released to, that's going to be next is Raphael. The rest of them aren't out. But can you imagine a shredder in this? Well, a toy dinner says the rep um, said they have no plans for a shredder or a splinter. Well, you never know. You never know. You never know. know. It that depends on how much. And it depends on how much these sell. You, you never know. But, I mean, can you imagine the rest of them, all four turtles from the movie lined up with this kind of detail with it? I mean, they oh, yeah, took their time. Yeah, there was a turtle. turtle. I remember the Yeah, her turtle. name was Venus. Oh, there it is right there. And she had turtle boobies. Yeah, she did. She had turtle uh, in the shell. Her shell was actually protruded for turtle boobs. It was ridiculous. Because that's realistic. Uh, Casey Jones, too. Ooh. But, I mean, this is a badass. How's the articulation? Um, the joints are a tad stiff, but once you get them moving, I mean, it, it's whatever you want. You can pose them down. You can pose them out. I mean, it is... You, you just got to put you a little bit of pose to it, but like. yeah, you can do whatever you like, but you can picture them pretty much like this. Throw that bow staff in there. I mean, it, it's a badass figure. It really is. And for a hundred bucks, you're talking, you're getting almost, I mean, you're getting a NECA number one, which is a brand you can trust, but you're also getting something very close to a hot toy, but it's bigger and it's really impressive. I mean, the detail in it is ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy ridiculous. And I mean... Look how big this damn thing is. I mean, that is a big figure. I mean, that's a big figure on yeah, anybody's turtle. stand, let alone a turtle figure. Turtle boobs. Pixel Pixie, I can picture you cosplaying <laughs> with a, 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 as a, as a uh, girl turtle with turtle, with turtle boobs. boobs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Not a big fan of TNT, but Shredder wanna be. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Can you picture that? Because he would actually have like a wider shoulder stance with like some spikes coming. Oh. Anyway. Long story short, badass figure. You guys can go to Toy Den Nerds, check them out. Malfish Collectibles, M A L L F I S H Collectibles.com. You can pre order both the Raph and the Donnie. If you're a Turtles collector, I say get it. I mean, even the box is impressive. I haven't I'm already stored like it. I am. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Dark Side. Uh, Dark Side! Dark Side, how tall is this? Um, <laughs> Dark Side, how many inches is this? Uh, but if I hadn't already stored the box, I would show you. But you can go back to the end of the show on Monday and just see what the box looks like. But taking him out of the box was a fucking task. I mean, it really was. Uh, so anyway, NECA is my company. See, Sunday Heat knows. Sunday Heat understands uh, toys. That man has an impressive collection. It is ridiculous. So if this man says NECA is his stuff, it is. I got the new Power Rangers Pops today, nerdy. Don't be bragging because I don't. I don't have them and I want them so bad. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We are not taking your comments this evening. You are <laughs> definitely 100% in the doghouse. No, no, no. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I'm No. I don't even care what you got to say. Oh. No, ask me why. Why? Because that some bitch corrected my spelling last night in Liswitch show oh. and cost me points. <laughs> Sounds like you deserved it. Yeah. You the, spell for shit, dude. I generally just watch Liswitch <laughs> just because I can't play the games. I'm not smart oh. enough. But I decided last night, hey, you know what? I'm up. I'm listening to money. I've got no, Liswitch so, in front of me. So I'm going to try it. Fatality caught it, but Liswitch didn't. Yeah. Liswitch usually catches it. It doesn't matter because Liswitch is my friend. But Fatality no. ain't my friend. Anybody that calls me out of my spelling <laughs> is not my friend. Just oh. saying. Just just saying, unfriend, delete, erase. <laughs> I can't spell. Don't make fun of me. I don't make fun of you because you don't know oh. math. <laughs> you don't know math either. I don't make fun of you about it either. <laughs> I need that one. I uh, know. Spelling noob. <laughs> awesome. Aaron. Is that how you say it? Aaron. Can I call you daily? I'm not yeah. sorry, man, but I appreciate it. Uh, good job, Fatality. 
Uh, yeah, no, it was not a prize winning question. <laughs> exactly. So why you gotta call me out, bruh? Because why you gotta call me out? You ain't gotta call me out. You ain't got to. Well, this one's just like, sure, no problem. Here's four <laughs> points. Four measly points for me not to win anything but feel good about myself because I participated. <laughs> but I can't even get a participation trophy because Fatality's like, no, 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 no. Uh uh, girlfriend. I don't think so. Gouda has an H. Uh, Banner list went red. Gouda <laughs> doesn't have an H. Questioning math. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you can't spell, dude. Uh, no, no, you do not. You do. There is no love. There is no love. <laughs> all right, back to the box because we've got a lot to do. Um, all right. Poor fatality. No, poor do not poor fatality that to, man. He is trying to educate the world, helping you spell. You should be thanking him. I don't care. Him. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Leo looks like he's taking a piss back there. That is Donatello, but you know what? Close enough, yeah, see, right? You see, you see, dirty child. It spells shit for you. You have to sort it out correctly. <laughs> Dirty Sal, do you want to go in the doghouse too? I got plenty of room, man. I got plenty of doghouses to put y'all in. I ain't got no problem with it. Listen, man, this here is Texas. There's nothing but flat ass land to put doghouses upon. Uh, <laughs> you're so good. You should have one M. I have actually six M's, but I'm not allowed to show them due to government. Uh, autocorrect. Oops. Yeah, that's right. One M. Yeah, see, you're trying to troll. See, you're trying to troll. I love that. I, I, I appreciate it. But unless you're trolling see, me on my spelling, you can't you. win. Was uh, want to see Skeletor spell check for something? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on, Duncan. Don't go nowhere. Hang on. Hold the phone. All right. So uh, this is the original Megazord from Power Rangers. This is the real deal. The original. Uh, it is not complete, hey, though. What, what happens when DMK volunteers to go in the doghouse? Doghouse house? me, nerdy. That's that right means you get. Everybody's in the doghouse. That, that means you get is. collared. Uh, so this is not complete. I do not have the horns for the Triceratops, and I don't have the tip for the the oh, Tyrannosaurus tail. But other than that. It is complete, uh, but this is the original Megazord, and again, it has to go on the shelf. This is part of this is part of what I love is Power Rangers. Uh, welcome to the Can't Spell Club. Autocorrect can't even help me. So yeah, are are you in that same club where yeah, if you're like, spelling, he'll spell four letters, and he's like, it's not gonna happen. Like that's because it's an A, not an E. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll start spelling something like it, when nobody's around, I'll try to spell something, and then autocorrect's like it doesn't, it, it goes blank, and you're like. <laughs> You're trying to think of other words to take its place. You're just like, no, I'm not even using that word. You know what? Again. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. So, uh, Jizzy, please, Donnie, what? Please alter Donnie's arm. There, is that better? Uh, wonderful fun fish sticks mask. I, I say I don't know where it is. Uh, you have the sword. What? I don't even know what he's talking about. All right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See? Listen listen to Mimic. You got to behave because Santa's still watching. <laughs> No, no, no. Listen, I, 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 I'm a fan of Santa Claus, but I'm more afraid of Freddy Krueger. Uh, Donnie's... <laughs> At least you got his name right. You know, you didn't call him Leo like somebody. I'm not hating because I can't spell either. <laughs> so, there you go. There is the original Skeletor. There, we're going a little bit old school, man. Um, a lot of people say that the Turtles are old school. Well, Skeletor and the Master of the Universe is even older. So there is the original Skeletor. How do we know? Squishy head! Oh, that's your head, man. So, Squishy head. Now, granted, he is not in the best of condition. This this toy had been played with hard. Put that down! So, uh, but anyway, the original Skeletor. There you go, Duncan, man. I told you to hang out. Hopefully you did, man. Can you shoot my channel out? It's called... Aaron Daly! What's hey, going on? There we go. Didn't say hi to Space Man Steve. Space Man he Steve! Likes you Space he likes Man you Steve! And he's probably playing Turlet Golf as we speak. Turlet Golf! I, I have to say Turlet everywhere I go now because of you. Um, Aaron Daly, man, what are you doing your channel? Let me know. Uh, I've been having Nick try and spell. <laughs> what are you doing your channel, buddy? Let me know. Uh, damn you, He-Man! <laughs> um, anyway, there is Skeletor's oh, staff Minecraft. right there. Minecraft! Alright. Uh, I'm not a fan of Minecraft, but I know a lot of people who are. That's awesome. Do you build the uh, cities and stuff out of it? Because I know that takes a hell of a lot of time. There we go. There is Heisenberg's money bag from earlier. There's a reference around. This is beautiful Angelic Hariba. How are you, darling? Hey, Jack Devil. How are you doing, girly pants? Uh, so we have to get nerdy. A speak and say, shut up, Liswitz. <laughs> okay, can you reverse troll me? I'm colorblind. Oh, my oh. oh my goodness. 
Uh, yeah, but the fact is, I said Donatello the entire time. I never said Leonardo once. I said Raphael. Uh, but color blindness doesn't talk about your ears not listening, unless the beard's growing into it. Then you got a problem. I gotta find me some of that turlet golf. Spaceman, you know what, dude? Give me about a week. I'll go find it and I'll send you one. Uh, and Black Ops 3 and oh. Final Fantasy. Awesome, man. There's a lot of Final Fantasy guys in here. Dr. Jekyll, how you doing, man? You're going to be on tomorrow, right? You're going to be on tomorrow? Tomorrow? You're going to be on? You? Tomorrow? On? No, so I got something to watch on. Come back again? You got to calm the hell down, man. That monkey's been gone for a while. Uh, speak and spell is more like speak to the devil. <laughs> no, thank you very much. I played 50 hours of Final Fantasy in five days. Wow. Raccoon eyes. That is why Spaceman Steve has... Well, no, that, that's what you're doing in exile. Yeah! Uh, stink or troll garbage... What? <laughs> Sorry, game today called Yeti and Spaghetti. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is a game. I actually know what that is. Uh, it's like the... It's, it's sort of like Kaplunk, isn't it? There you go. See, I told you, man. Final Fantasy. What's up, Dark Sayud? Jekyll, Donnie figure, seriously, looks like... Yeah, no, that's why he's there Joseph doing that. Really so you got something to look at. Hello, Joseph. Joseph, how you doing, my man? Uh, happy holidays to you, man. What up, J-Dub? All right, back to the box, mofos. We still got three more to go. Um, this is my Brian O'Connell uh, car from Fast and the Furious. This is the Skyline, and this was like my favorite car out of all the series. Well, I haven't watched any of the new ones, but... Out of the original uh, three, the Skyline was my favorite, and if I could have a secondary dream car, it would be the Skyline from Fast and the Furious 2. No? One? Anyway, one of those. The one with the steering wheel on the opposite side of the car. Uh, Miso Harambe, you so not good at English. Uh, Skeletor, I got sure. Skeletor, I got sure it was bigger. Uh, I don't know. Maybe yours is bigger. Oh, there is Skeletor's sword, so he can fight He-Man. Basically, it's the Master Sword, just a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I didn't invent it. Oh, look at this right here. Bam, bag of meth. Yep. Uh, Yoda. Yoda Dream Girl in here? Yeah, she's been in here. What's, I didn't even see her. I know. I, I didn't even say, to her for I didn't even you. say hi. I'm sorry, Yoda. I do apologize for missing <laughs> your comment. Uh, how about I say, yeah, man, good to see you being here. Uh, I love, I love all affected. You didn't answer my question. You're going to be on tomorrow, 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 Thursday. You're going to be on tomorrow. I need a, I need a holiday, Dr. Jekyll. You're going to be on tomorrow. I need, 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 we need, are, need. and we are defective, dude. We, we need some Jekyll. We are. We, we need some Jekyll. It's holiday life. time. Everybody's defective. The holidays suck in general. There's nothing good about it. There's nothing good. We the, pretend. Yeah, you pretend, but there's nothing good. The The traffic sucks. General shopping sucks. Like, I need some Coca-Cola and some pork rinds. I can't even go to the damn store because people got, yeah, you know, right, listen, at Fergie is coming in, and she Space, needs 37 boiled eggs. Face. What? Spacey man. Spacey man. Spacey man. You're officially Spacey man forevermore. The defective. He, the defective effective. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying Mary to get Mary Pogmas. Uh, have to send money to everyone else. What? <laughs> I love the holidays. No, you don't. You missed three yeah. of my shows because Dark of them. Jekyllery. Yeah, tomorrow. Yep. Yes, Darth Jekyll. Thank God, I need it. Yes, I uh, like January needs to get here. It's quiet. I agree quiet. with you, Hira. I do. I do agree with you, Spaceman. So here is my Breaking Bad glass. It's a glass. It's cool on the inside, now, but badass say, on the I agree outside. With that. I do like it if everybody can get together and everybody can get along. But that doesn't know. Happen. Something else for my uh, Iron Man happen. shelf. I have Iron Man 3. It's, it's an ornament. <laughs> I, I don't know why I have an ornament, but I got it, and it's awesome. Uh, Andy? Is it Andy? Andy? Andy Marte? Andy Mart? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. Uh, I can't stream Friday show, but if you really want a show, you can do a Saturday if that will make you happy. Yes. Uh, I want that glass! Well... You know the rules. There's only three things. Uh, hate holidays too. Many returns. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Pie. I don't think I have any pie in here, but stick around. You never know. I got two more boxes to get to. There we go. This is, if you're talking about Average Ninja, you're talking about Bat Stash, man. He is a Marvel Select collector, man. And out the box, I have Thanos. This is the Marvel Select. This is a badass, big, heavy figure. And check it out. He's got the gauntlet. Looking at you, Hot Toys. How the hell can Hot Toys make a Thanos in the throne? And he looks amazing. I would drop 700 for that damn figure. It is that badass. But 
No Infinity Gauntlet. No Gauntlet! How do you have Thanos without the Gauntlet? And even if you could buy it aftermarket, it would be better. But they don't even make it. Are you serious, Hot Toys? Why do I gotta smack a bitch to tell you what to do right? Anyway, badass figure. Um, Lady Death, I don't think Lady Death's in here, but she's somewhere around. So there, I mean, there. that's some detail right there. And this figure only runs about $22, something like that. $22, $25, somewhere like that. Badass. Miss a wand. What are you, Jar Jar Binks? You say Martha? I I didn't, but now I did. <laughs> Can't wait to see the Thanos kill all. I know, dude. I cannot wait. The gauntlet isn't in the treasure room. What the hell, Fizz the Kid? The gauntlet's in the treasure room. That's why he's not holding it. All right. Speaking of Marvel speaking Selects, of uh, one of the best Marvel Selects I've ever seen. So badass, I had to open it. Mainly because they take up a lot of room. Uh, plan on filming this collection and post it standalone. What? What's Stu talking about? I don't know. Um, I think he's talking about your collection. Like, when you get it all out, are you going to, like... No, generally my collection is me talking about other new stuff while it's behind me. But right now, I have to sort of go through the collection before I can do all that. Shuggy! Worst episode of Casting Couch ever! I don't know. Donatello seems to be getting his supermodel groove on. And, and this creepy rabbit is popping up back there. So you never know. This might be actually a good episode. Just hang out, Shuggy. You know you're going to. Uh, you already unpacked the Death Lady. Thank you, heroes. Um, fatality, you choking cu Christmas? Who's choking fatality Christmas? Fatality says if someone uh, else have you seen the new Transformers the trailer? trailer Mike, I have. And, and so she asked him. The previous Transformers, it, it didn't really get... I, I thought it was very boring. And that's not because Mark Wahlberg is in it. It's just I found it very boring. It was very long. The Dinobots weren't in it very long. But this one, it really gets me going, man. So, I mean, what do you think about it? I think it's going to be pretty good. Optimus Prime turning bad? Might be good. Just don't kill Bumblebee. I'll be mad. So, anyway, this is Carnage. Forgive me. This is the Marvel Select Carnage, and this is a badass, super, super duper detailed figure. Uh, this figure comes with multiple hands to swap out. It comes with like a big battle axe to go with. It actually Betsy has a swap Man, out that face. Is the dirty girl. She's Christina big, Aguilera dirty. Big red nasty. <laughs> but it actually has a swap out face. So you actually see Cletus Cassidy's face. And it's got like little pieces of the symbiote shooting around. This is a bad ass. It's not a spoiler. It's in the fucking trailer. I have not seen the Transformer movie that's coming out next July, you dildo. You calm the hell down. <laughs> I need that, my God. <laughs> Coming from me, that's saying a lot. What did you even say? He said Transformers Extinction was kind of gibberish. What's Extinction? Extinction. Oh, Extinction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. The Dinobots were, they needed to be a little bit bigger, but I don't know. We're not going to even get into that. The Ultimate Carnage is better, I think. Oh, yes, dropping yes, it. Yes, Platinum King. Yes, I have. Many times. The Big Red Nasty. <laughs> All right. There we go. There is the, uh, the, the uh, Master Sword for the... Uh, Get down there. Oh, there we go. Heisenberg's glasses, because he gets to see now. I don't want spoilers. Then don't watch a trailer? Shit, seriously. This show is full of spoilers. Like, if the movie just came out, I'm not going to give any spoilers. But if the trailer just came out, you need to calm the hell down, DMK. See, now you're in the shit list. You know what? You're getting collared and choked. Hey, hey he wanted in the doghouse. Uh, yeah, apparently you are. Perfect. You're going to call me out for talking about the trailer? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm good. Thank you. All right, let's move back in here. There we go. Dark side. Darkseid's going to be angry about this, but I think he has it. There is Sinestro in the Green Lantern outfit. This is actually from the Green Lantern movie, which I didn't I didn't hate. I actually liked it. I was a fan of the Green Lantern movie, but if you're a Green Lantern fan, I get why you don't like it. But anyway, uh, I got this for a dollar. One doll hair got me this Sinestro <laughs> statue, and it has all the different lantern rings around the backside of the stand. So, I mean, you really can't pass it up. That's a detailed figure, I mean, a detailed statue that's shiny, so it caught my eye, and it's badass, and I paid a dollar. Spoiler, there was a dick in that box. No, that was the other box, the one with the midget porn. Transformer, spoiler, they transform. Vinny, stop! DMK's not going to know what to do. He's going to have to bathe himself in magic cards and lube. Uh, <laughs> stoop. <laughs> spoiler, there's a dick in that box. Again? Uh, <laughs> stop spoiling. And oh now you've spoiled it for Angel. Vinny, you know what? You're in the doghouse, too. You're going to get collared and choked. Are you, do you, is anybody not in the doghouse? Um, Angelic's not in the doghouse. Okay. Yeah, she's not in the doghouse. Uh, Mike's not in the doghouse. 
since we were great in that movie, shame we didn't get to see it as Yellow Lantern. I know, they should have made a sequel. I think if they would have just took their time and made a sequel, it would have bypassed the first one for whatever problems they had. But again, DC didn't know what the hell they were doing. They basically took a while. Uh, yeah, Snoopy's not in the doghouse either. Jazz dies too soon. D Snoopy is kind of in the doghouse because she was gone for like 15 months. Nah. Something she like was, that. She was, she was doing life. You always say life comes first. Uh, not for Snoopy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? Midget Port? Oh, wait. That was my last marriage. Oh. There's so much wrong with that sentence. I, I want to know. Like, I really want to know, but I don't want to know. But I kind of want to know. Did you guys do porn? Do I? I have your porn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't ask you are the dog! Um, yay! No dog has for me. No, Angelic, you definitely aren't. Uh, have to do life. Have to do life. <laughs> Be right back. Gonna fap to some to Saria Angel. Is that a magic card? Probably. So uh, there is my <laughs> there's my Altai ear uh, assassin from Assassin's Creed, and this is like. When I restarted my collection in the mid-2000s, this was one of the first things that I picked up because I absolutely love the Assassin's Creed games. And this is a badass detailed figure. Hey, Somewhere. Look, this would also like the movie. He was always hiding the fact that he liked it. But now he can come out into the daylight and show his Green Lantern. Yeah, you definitely can, man. I, I thought it was really good. I thought it was, I mean, Parallax kind of sucked. But overall, they had to tell a whole lot of story in a small span of time. And Green Lantern is an infinite universe of bull. And they had to cram all that into one little, like, basically an hour and 50 minute movie. So it took a long time to do that. Now, granted, they could have done something else, but overall, I didn't hate it. Um, he's missing a knife. Thanks, heroes. Uh, I still have to get that Assassin's Creed tattoo. Boom, Hyro. I've got three. Holding the car. Holding in the Hiding car. Hiding the car boot. No good. What? The boot is, is the trunk. Tar McFarlane has new Assassin's Creed figures. Yes, he does, Raven. I actually do have the Assassin's Creed figures. I've shown them on the show. Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, you want to see Assassin's Creed? I'm going to. Not going to be this weekend. I don't really want to go anywhere for Christmas, so it's probably going to be next weekend. But it does look really good. I do want to see it. Uh, poop in my doghouse. Well, you roll in it. Uh, yes, remember I sent to you when I mailed you the lacy panties. I didn't get that yet. That We talked about that last night. But I get the reference. That's last night's conversation. You can't mail anything overnight. I'm telling. I told heroes that. I'm telling you that. Let's get to this box. Damn it! There is a Starfleet communicator. I don't know if it still works or not. No, it doesn't. <laughs> did you get your Mario tattoo color? I did. Did I not show? Did I not send that to you? Yeah, I did. I actually have some Snoopy artwork tattooed upon me. I do. That's not even a fake story. That's real deal. I asked her to draw me a Mario blowing his own cartridge, and she did, and I have it tattooed on me. And that's not because me and Snoopy connect on a different level than the rest of y'all, that's because she's badass. Um, all DMK porn has minimum cast of five. Wow! Yeah, I think that's magic. Yes, magic, oh my god! <laughs> They're in the same line as the new spawn, yeah man. Uh, I had retired from porn. Why did I read his comment? Damn it. Um, I had <laughs> some skid know. marks whilst tighting if you want them. Relentless! How are you and Mega Nasty doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope she laughs when we call her that because it's hilarious. She does. Don't worry. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of Assassin's Creed, there's an Assassin's Creed keychain right there. Boom. Uh oh, and it matches my tattoo. So, Assassin's Creed keychain for a keychain Saturday. That was invented by J Dub. Uh, right here. Oh, one guy. there we go. Piece of carnage. Hello. That goes down here. Um, all right, now this is something that is original to we my collection. Too, man. We are too. It looks, it looks like they're sticking to the main. I think it's going to be good. Though. I think I it's going to do it. That good. one guy, how you doing, man? I think it'll be good. I don't um, think we're going to screw it up. This is original to my collection. This is the NWO mm -hmm. Sting car with the stand you know, and the exactly. cardboard back for Sting, and this is originally mine. I, I had this back in the day, and you can tell it's mine because the bat's really loose. But apparently he weighed 252, and um, no, Jizzy, Jizzy I weigh more. Jizzy was a Templar. This is why I try to kill him every day. Yeah, we're, I'm a little bit of both, but <laughs> yeah, so this is the Sting car, and it does come off the stand, but it doesn't matter. Again, original my collection, so I love it. Good! Working like crazy. Really? Is that what she's doing or you're doing? Because uh, hmm. uh, I, I can only picture what Megan Nasty's doing for work. Uh, <laughs> if you read the comments, 
you are wasting your time. No, 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 no. No, no, I like your comments. He said if you read this comment. I know, I read it back. No, no, I like your comment, and you never waste my time, Big Tokes. Uh, what a fatality and Steve. <laughs> Steve. 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 All right. I love that. I love that movie just for Steve. Steve. So this. Chance meatballs. If you don't know what I'm talking This about. particular Steve. creature is called a Zoid. These are Zoids, and basically these were wind up build. I don't know. I bought it because I'd never seen it before, and this guy had a whole bunch of them. But this is just the Rhino. Um, Zoid, and I just I wanted a Zoid. Somebody in my show early on asked if I had any Zoids. I said I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So I had to pick up myself a Zoid. I believe this was big overseas. This was like something big that was in England and uh, places like that. Hello from France! What's going on? KCDQ Bonjour. Uh, oh hell bros, they made tons. Uh, Sting had a way more than 252. I don't know man, he was pretty slender. I mean, he was like a tall, skinny, muscular guy. That sounded like I was describing my dream dude. Anyway, uh, that's Rocksteady. Ooh, nice. And I cannot hold him right so that he'll walk. But yeah, he, he winds up and he walks. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's a Zoid. And the last thing in this box, holy crap, it took almost an hour to get through. The cameraman said he thinks it originated in Japan. Well, I'm sure most things did originate in Japan. So this is my BB-8. Somewhere on here. I don't know where it's at. Find it. Find your head! Anyway, this is this is not the uh, the iPhone one. This is the remote control one that I bought. This was my Force Friday pick. Because I, I... Find your center! There it is. Okay. So there's my BB-8, and the controller is apparently in a different box. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is the BB-8. The controller and you're looking for is in another castle. Yeah. So when you actually when you actually roll him, the head actually travels actually with it. We actually built him his own and nerdly edition. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. See, you haven't been here in a while. BB-8. That's right. BB-8. But the head actually is magnetic to the inside of the body. And as it rolls, the head does free swing on the top of it. It's actually a pretty kick-ass toy. And they did make a, an iPhone that was actually a little smaller than this, but overall, it's cool to have BB-8, and it only makes noise when I don't want it to. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Boom. Another box. Down. All right. Almost threw that at me. All right. Well, you like it. R2-D2 better. Angelic, come back on Friday show. I will show you the R2 that goes with it. If you come back on Friday show. All right. So I told you guys I bought myself a Christmas present. This is my Christmas present. It just showed up. Let's find out what it looks like. Because I don't know. All I can see is, you know, stuff on eBay for the condition. I don't know. BB-8 cookie jar would be cool. I, I, Dude, it's Star Wars and it's made by Disney now. I'm sure they make it. Dude, they make a Darth Vader toaster. <laughs> it does. It cooks It cooks Darth Vader's face into one side and the Star Wars logo into the other. Now that box bites the dust. Nah, 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 nah. Had it though. Almost. Almost. Um... Astromotech droids, all cute character Star Wars, aside from the Jawas and the Ewoks. <laughs> Martini! Martini! Oh, Angelic! Alright, well, I'll tell you what, I will send you a picture. Alright, so there is that. Alright, so these, I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about them, I bought them on a whim. These are comic books because comic books are the heart of my collection. You like your Mickey Mouse toaster? <laughs> Sorry, I, I got I, I did a little moneymaker while I did that that mannequin challenge. You know? <laughs> no, you're not supposed to laugh. Yes, it only works if the toaster <laughs> breathes deeply while you toast. Yay! Picture. Yes. If you what deeply? The Darth toaster. It only it's it's only fantastic and a good idea if it like breathes heavily while it toasts. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your toast is done. <laughs> Thanks, James Earl Jones. I can't. I can't cut the tape on the damn thing. I was trying to do it with my hands. It won't work. Uh, I have to send Angelic a Terminator style photo. What? I don't know what that means. Termina. I still don't know what that means. Santa Claus. San Santa, Claus. Santa Claus is in here! Santa Claus! Listen, the stuff you saw me do about three months ago in that poor porn dwelling behind the Dollar General, that wasn't me. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Santa Claus? Ho, 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 and all that stuff? God, about time. Wow. That dude, I mean, listen, 
If a guy's going to send me comic books, that's how I want it. I want it bagged and boarded, and I want cardboard sandwiched between it. Dude did it right, but holy crap, this is taking a long time. How you doing, Jesse? Thank you, Dan Fro, for repeating it. All right. So these are the ultimate comic books, and we're going to work our way backwards for a specific reason. So this is issue five of the ultimates. I mean, just a badass cover. To this sucks, they said, Hi, Satan! Hi, Satan! We got a Santa, uh, Santa, Santa. Santa, 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 Satan. <laughs> Uh, Terminal cosplay. Oh! <laughs> no. Now I got you. I got you. So anyway, um, no, badass no, cover, but that's good. not the reason we bought it. He has not been good at all. All right, so here is issue number three of the Ultimates. Look at that, man. Wolverine fighting a Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, I'm down to read that. That seems pretty cool. Uh, you have been good. Oh, wait, have you been good this year? Well, honestly, Santa, that is not for me to answer because you're Santa and you're supposed to be watching me when I'm sleeping and awake. So that's really up to you, my friend. Uh, let's see, not that one. Oh, apparently it's all issue one, just variant covers. So there is Magneto and Sabretooth, issue one of Ultimates 3, right there. Yes, badass. All right. And then uh, Ultimate Issues 1, uh, variant cover right there with uh, some chick with giant hooters jumping through to stab. It looks like Venom. Yes. I think this is the Matt Gargan Venom. But uh, look at them boobies right there. Hell yeah. All right. And now Ultimate number 3, Issue number 1 right there. It's got um, just a badass cover. But the reason I purchased it is the inside. What's inside. That's why I bought it. Oh, it's an open. Oh, look at this. It's a fold-out cover. Look at that! That's badass! Oh, it folds out again! Oh! Look how badass that is! That is so sweet! That's so cool! But that's not why I bought it! The reason I bought it is for the opening page of The Ultimates 3, Issue 1. Check this out, right here. This is... I don't know if you can see... I'm trying to get this, this angle right here. This is the Black Widow and Tony Stark sex tape. Yeah! Oh dear. Yeah, so right there, apparently on the internet, you can see in this panel right here, it shows Black Widow and Tony Stark, their sex tape. I gotta have it! I had to have it, man! I'm a Tony Stark man at heart. Scarlett Johansson is bonable hot. Gotta have it. I don't know anything about this series. I don't know what it's about, but that made me buy it. Uh, he sees you when you're fapping. He knows your name is S. Fox. <laughs> fap, 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 fap. Oh! <laughs> so that was my Christmas present to myself. Some Tony Stark porn. That's how you know I'm really messed up in the head. All right. We've got an additional box. Check this out. Fatality, um, he's got himself to calm the hell down again. Ah, uh, you better. Uh, Dark Side, you never bring that Justin Bieber sex talk. <laughs> I, I think I love you, Santa. Uh, <laughs> he's a loot. So, uh, my Le Chantel, Product de France. Oh, is my French guy still in here? My French guys would like this. See? Product de France. Anyway, so uh, this is labeled toys. That simple toys. Don't know what it is. So, And there's no tape on it, so I can't even peek. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, we got enough time. <laughs> I had to look. <laughs> Dark side's getting called out. <laughs> spelling? It's not spelling if it's a different language. Maybe I was spelling good in a different language. List wits give me points. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, all right. Uh, easy stuff to go through. Marvel Legends. Uh, boom, right there. Red Skull, Marvel Legends, and he is dusty. So, uh... Captain America, this was for the um, the Mandroid build. And this is back when they're like, oh, let's just tease. Who knows? Maybe. Jingle Bell, Sony Smells. The Apple it fucking, won't fix, yeah. No, the Apple fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> Four points to you, past mentality. Yes. Thank you, Liswitz. That's why me and you are best buds. Anyway, so there we go. There is the Red Skull figure. I mean, of the Marvel Legends, this one's actually a really badass figure. I mean, it's a good figure. Um, okay, a separate Captain America line. This is the Marvel Legend. This is for the Giant Man, and this is Nuke. And low. of the random characters they started throwing in the Marvel Legends, Nuke is actually pretty badass. Swappable heads, which is badass. And on the back, you can see you can actually build the Giant Man figure on there. And I again, I haven't opened any of these. The only one I ever opened was for the uh, Hulkbuster. That was it. Dark Side wants you to open. 
Dark Side! No, not gonna do it. Uh, Big Daddy Jackalope, how you doing my friend? Welcome to the show, good to see you again. Oh, there we go. This is for a, a separate one. This is for Absorbing Man, and this is the Venom. Absorbing with... Man? Like, they really ran out of names. Well, absor yeah, Absorbing Man was the Build-A-Figure. Let me guess. He absorbs? I don't know. Uh, of this line, there is two of them I didn't get. These two on the back side, the little green girl, and then the guy with the red glasses. I didn't get them. If I can get them for five bucks, I'll do it. If not, they're not going to hurt my collection, and I don't really carry the way. But the Venom is a big, nice figure, and it looks good. Your face is a big, nice figure. Thanks. <laughs> My sweater's cool, too. Um, here's Jack O. Lantern. Let me guess. <laughs> He's a strawberry. Jack O. Lantern. I mean, it's a cool figure. It is really neat. I can't hate on this. And he doesn't ride on a glider. He rides on a magic broomstick. <laughs> oh, that's... I'm not even joking. He actually does. Um, he is also part of the Absorbing Man line. And then we have Morbius from the Absorbing Man Build-A-Figure line. These are so dusty. Somebody needs to dust. Where's my butler? So uh, there's Morbius. Uh, the what, what was his title? It was the Living Undead. It, it, he had something like that because Marvel couldn't call him a vampire. That, that somebody had the rights on vampire or the or the living or the, something nice. like that. But they had to call him like the living undead or some random stuff. Venom, one of my favorite. Oh yeah, man, Venom is still an amazing character, ever evolving. That broomstick, though. Uh, again, absorbing Mander. Man, Mander, you guys know what I mean. Uh, again, one of the saddest pieces in the Marvel Legends that every line has a fucking Captain America. Yay, Captain America. Yay, America. Hashtag America. Thank you, Captain. Anyway, another Captain America for the uh, Ant-Man wave. And we got Nick Fury. I'm sorry. White Nick Fury. <laughs> it's not racist if it's true. So there's White Nick Fury, or as I call him, David Hasselhoff. Uh, David Hasselhoff, if you don't know, drop a little nerd. Oh, DMNK, cover your ears. I'm sorry. I have to spoil <laughs> something from 1987. <laughs> cover your earballs real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a movie in the 80s, early boy. 90s called Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it starred David from Baywatch Hasselhoff as Nick Fury. Not joking, real thing. Okay, take him off now, DMK. Anyway, so there he is right there. Um, this is actually a pretty cool figure. It's, it's nice to see uh, Nick Fury. Iron Man from the uh, Civil War line, from the Giant Man Build-A-Figure. That will actually go on that shelf over there. And then, at the time, one of the hardest pieces to get was the Black Panther. The hardest pieces uh, to get? Whatever I said. So one of the hardest pieces to get right here was the Black Panther uh, because basically Chad Chad Boswick, I believe this is his name, Chad Boswick, killed it as Black Panther. I cannot wait for the Black Panther movie. They should have already been lined up for 2017. I don't want to wait till 2018 to find any of this shit. This dude did an amazing job as Black Panther. I cannot wait for that movie. And this figure, uh, the sales for it, actually told that story. Uh, he was the Hoff with the high patch. He actually was. Uh, I think you need a bigger room for your toys. Shut up, Dan Fro. It's the bigger room. <laughs> I am the Black Pant. This is all I get. You're the Black Pant, her? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yep. Dude, the guys I wants to join the doghouse. Dog Boom. I built the doghouse. Phantom of the Opera. Phantom face is messed up under his mask. Boy, don't be spoiling stuff for Dam and K. It, like, you mean he wears a mask for a reason? Don't be telling him air is outside as well as inside. The dude's gonna flip his lid. Uh, imagine they got David Hasselhoff to reprise the role instead of getting Samuel Jackson. No, no. Samuel Jackson <laughs> is Nick Fury. But it would be a badass cameo to have them just real quick just be like. Nice eye patch or something. Uh, blasphemy came in. <laughs> all right, so that's all for the Marvel this Legends in there. Probably um, use less time telling him. Don't tell him. Fog outside. Don't tell him. Uh, okay, okay. What's the character that Rock Dwayne Johnson is playing? I forgot. <laughs> yes, lots of souls, DMK. They all. I Frozen in nitric oxide. I don't know how to answer that. Frogs get up! Frogs back snails! I, I, <laughs> I got broke by Super Chica! What a random ass question! Okay, she wants to go to the doghouse as well. The super, what do you mean the superhero? 
He is a superhero! <laughs> I'm adjusting my tracking. Thank you. All right, so the last two pieces in this box are McFarlane, the Walking Dead figures. This is Daryl Dixon because... I know him. There you go. Uh, that is the Daryl Dixon figure. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like what they're doing with Daryl for the new season. No spoilers, but I like it. Um, so this was from Series 6. Yeah, Series 6. So you got Daryl with the crossbow right there. Ooh, sassy frogs. Somebody spoils Rogue One. Well, don't don't hang out, pretty much. Uh, well, if it ain't no Jizzy and Co., Mr. Fuzz, oh, Lord. How you doing, man? <laughs> He's playing a superhero soon. Google it! Why am I your IMDB? You're um, to be it was David Hasselhoff your... playing Sam Jackson playing Nick Fury. Mine blown. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, he's playing Black Adam. Spoiler alert. That's he's not. Darth oh, Vader. don't. <laughs> you can't spoil stuff. You're in your own doghouse. You have to spank your own ass now. How are you going to do that? Do you have a long enough cat of nine tails? You better put a ball gag in, boy. All right, the last one that's in this box is the Rick Grimes from Series 5. I'm a big fan of Rick Grimes. He's one of my favorite characters out of comics. Uh, in general, I still love the Rick Grimes that's in the show. <laughs> Badass character, and then anything produced by McFarlane is just incredible. So that is, look at this, guys, the end of another box. Look at that. We're getting there. We're getting there. We got one more box to open. That is it. We're almost there. Kidney. Oh, kinky. This one's heavy. This one's super heavy. I don't know what's in that. All right, brother. Happy holidays. Back to you, my friend. Uh, Carl. That's right. Mmm. Cat nine tails. You calm the hell down. Uh, very funny tonight. Uh oh, J has been broken. That truck ain't starting tonight. So this is a random uh, wait, box of wait, twelve stop. bottles of copper now? hill. Oh, magical powers. Look! 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 French word. Pion the wit. Uh, <laughs> I love that ugly sweater though. Thank you very much, man. You gotta have a little Mario up in here. That is so not uh, an ugly sweater. It's a pretty cobalt blue. That's right. That's right. So this is a heavy box. I don't know what's in it. I I can't even begin to tell you what is in here. Your face. My face is in here. Oh God. Face gives reach arounds. I shouldn't have opened this. Uh, Jizzy is crushing some box tonight. You know it, baby. Crush that ass. Crush that box. Okay, this may not be too bad. All right. So right up on top, this is my classic McDonald's box. I actually got this idea from Darkseid. Darkseid started putting some of his um, figure accessories <laughs> in uh, lunch boxes and stuff. So oh, I found this classic 90s um, lunch box from McDonald's and started putting some of my uh, other accessories for figures in here. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, look, 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 look. There it is. The Cletus Cassidy head I told you guys about for the uh, Carnage that. Marvel Select. Ron, Mexico. All right, time to end the show. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of different figures here. Oh, here's the Dragon Dagger from uh, Power Rangers. There's a bunch of crap in here. We don't got time to go through it. But that's what I was doing for a while, just tossing everything in here. And then I learned, I don't know what some of this stuff goes to. So now i got to go back through and Google and then label it in little baggies. Uh, there's a video on Instagram where The Rock is dancing in a Pikachu costume. Uh, okay. Thanks. I don't understand what to put it to. Um, I had that lunchbox. Mine was blue. They made a bunch of them. They made, uh, I know they made a yellow and a red. But... <laughs> Who knows, man? We might actually find one in here. Um, Star Wars reference. Continuing the Star Wars theme this evening. Um, there is Sabulba's um, pod racer from episode one. The pod race scene was one of the best things apart from episode one, from Star Wars episode one. The pod race scene and... Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn were badass. I liked them. I love Hugh McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi. And, of course, Darth Maul. But other than that, that movie pretty much blew. But the pod race scene was badass. And, of course, Sebulba is one of those figures, that, one of those characters that really should have a small spinoff series to find out where he came from, a little bit more about him, because he was awesome. Uh, want to see you open a pop? Well, DMNK, that's a spoiler alert. you got to wait for it for Friday. Oh! oh! Sup, bro? Samuel Green. How you doing, man? Um, did you see the video of Sting as the Cowboys imitation coach? No, I didn't. Um, here is a uh, hand. I don't know. Um, oh, okay. This is this ain't gonna be too bad. So this is a book on Back to the Future, not just the uh, two and three, but it's a whole big uh, like. It talks about behind the scenes. It talks about, it's got some artwork and stuff. And granted, this book was made before Google. So a lot of the stuff you can Google, but it's neat to see oh, all this Rock stuff. The Rock trying to entertain his, his toddler daughter, his little girl. Who is? The Rock. When he's oh, the okay. I, 
doesn't pertain to me. So uh, <laughs> that that's showing how they did the uh, the flight scene from uh, number two. Just some badass info. Again, part of my Back to the Future collection. How you do number two. Oh, you, they like how I do number two. Apparently, I do it with poo poo golf. Uh, I'm not gonna be here Friday. DMK? No, no, you're gonna be here Friday. Um, I believe my man uh, Tamisio or PlayStation bruh got this for me many many moons ago. This is the mini time machine from the Back to the Future, and this is the. The Minties, I, I don't understand what the point of these were, I never collected them, but the fact they made the Mini DeLorean that actually opened with the Marty McFly, absolutely badass. Anything Back to the Future is always going to just get me tingles. Uh, you poo with an audience. I do. One of, this, is, this is a fun thing. Um, one of my very first shows ever on here... Um, I was doing like maybe six hour shows. Now granted, it was nothing like what we do. It's not like when we talk about individual things with categories and especially not this unboxing crap. It's just me basically sitting here bullshitting for five or six hours. There was one point where I had to get up and go to the bathroom and the bathroom is really close to the cave. And so I just went up, I just, whatever, I just went there and took a piss and come back and they, the first comment I read says, we heard you pee. <laughs> I don't remember that. I want to say that it was modern, but I can't remember. Looking good. How you, no, 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 Chris. Full homo, my man. Check out my Christmas sweater, baby. Look at that. Mario Christmas sweater. Uh, I won't be Friday here driving to LA. Uh, you have internet and your phone. Uh -huh. You can put that boom shakalaka right there in the dash and be like, ha ha, this cool. dude's hilarious. Because you can't miss Friday. You nope. can't. It's my Christmas special. Nope. It's my I didn't have a Christmas special last year. I got a Christmas special coming up. If you're not going to be here, oh, you're going to be so sad. You're going to have to find some kind of Rudolph dildo to jam inside you just to get that Christmas spirit I'm going to provide on Friday for free. Uh, we heard you pee. Thanks, DMK. It's called Moba Data, Ron. Boom! This was dropping bombs tonight. Not only did he give me four free points, he also schooled Fatality and showed Ron what's up back in here. Oh, let's show Pops. So this is the Dodge Charger, and it is dusty as balls. Um, this is the Dodge Charger from the Fast and the Furious. Basically, I took the Dominic Pop, threw it across the room, haven't seen it since, and took the Charger, because you know who belongs there? Jax Teller. That's right, Jax Teller cruising in the Charger, baby. Um, <laughs> now it works! Uh, you and Dr. Jekyll and Ron Mexico are my favorite streamers. Dan Fro, you're my... 16th He's favorite viewer. Uh, <laughs> I'll be here with Jingle Bells on. Jingle. Ooh, Jingle, um, Benoit jingle, Balls. Did Jingle Bells jingle in space? And by, <laughs> and by Florida, I mean working second. I still know what that means. Um, okay, uh, check this out. Uh, back in the 90s, they had this big thing called laser tag, and this was part of the laser tag thing. Uh, laser challenge. That's what this this was from. Somewhere in this collection is the actual vests and stuff. I just love that. Anyway, still works and it's fun. Um, oh, we found the thumb. Ooh, a thumb. Lemmy belongs in the charger. Trance, I can grant that. I actually found the Lemmy pop. There we go. Lemmy in the Charger. That actually looks really good. It actually, you're right. He does belong in the Charger. Yeah. No damn Vin Diesel belongs in the Charger. There we go. Yes. Tell you what, Lemmy, just cruise up here, my man. There you go. Rest in peace, good sir. Uh, Nerdfest 2017 Laser Tag Championship. Oh, we going to do it. Uh, <laughs> DMK? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, that Lemmy is not left-handed. You're right, you're right. I had a friend that had that laser tag. It's awesome. Was his, was his name Trupaka? <laughs> Hashtag name dropping. All right. Um, it's funny. Ron Mexico wanted, me to, wanted to send me this book. And this is regret, Regrettable Superheroes. This is basically, uh, these people went through comics from all time and wrote down some of the lamest superheroes ever. Ooh, Brother Power the Geek. There we go. I don't know why he's hanging out with, uh, I don't know, Hippie Land. <laughs> anyway, but Ron wanted to send it to me. He's like, he's like rolling hard in the garage. He's like, nerdy, I want to send this to you. I'm like, I already got it, bro. <laughs> it's very, 
it like that's one reason why I really don't like Christmas because I'm really hard to shop for. People are like, yes. hey, hey, do you have this? I'm like, I probably got two of them, you know. Like, so that for Blueprint, yeah, it is. My favorite years of Christmas for buying for nerdy is when there's a new game system out. Yeah, yeah, it's very difficult. I still have that box to send you. Yeah, Ron, you wouldn't want to send it around the holidays or anything like that. You probably want to sit on it until maybe July, or maybe you can do the S Fox thing and send everybody else's stuff out and then send mine after I'm like. You know, I don't want to ask, but I don't want you to keep telling me you have it. So either oh. send it or, you know, throw it in the garbage. So either brag or shit off the gut off the pot. Uh, no, not me. The friend was imaginary. <laughs> oh, I snuck in a laser tag before. You be bragging. What's going on, Kevin? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Uh, Brother Power the Geek. I know. I know. Um, apparently... This box was filled with fucking comics. Uh, we're going to have to sort of uh, fast shoot this because we're running out of time and there's a lot of comics in here. So uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail or bring it in person. You still didn't. Uh, so these are J Grim Jacks. And I think that one of the or all three of these were going to go into somebody's prize box. But again, with all this damn construction, I forgot to do the prize box. So we're going to have to do that probably in 4.0. Um... Here's a sexy comic book I bought. I think there's nothing but words in here. Yeah, nothing but words, but I bought it just because the cover had uh, a chick on it. I know. Uh, <laughs> Touche, my friend. There we go. Fast shooting time banner, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Uh, Batman Beyond, Rebirth. Civil War number six. Still haven't read that. Need to read that. Take of your shirt. Are you starting to speak like the Bible? Take of the shirt. Take of my breast. Take of the wine. Be merry. Eat a D. Uh, there we go. The Twilight Zone and the Shadow team up. That's some Listwit stuff right there. Um, never Ending. This is a series I wanted to read. Uh, I, I, I like anything time travel related. And I think this guy that has no bulge is a time traveler. I'm not sure. But there is the Never Ending series. Um, yeah, there's only three issues. That was it. All right, fast shooting banner off. Take of the shirt off. Reverse speaketh. Hi, Ron Mexico, bruh. What? <laughs> uh, Scooby Doo Apocalypse issue number one, special variant color co uh, color cover. Uh, Twilight Zone and the Shadow number two. Damn right, the Shadow knows. I know. Superman Rebirth number one. Still haven't read it. Power Rangers, issue number four. Bored the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, I missed a bulge. Uh, Doctor Who, Supreme, uh, Supremacy of the Cybermen. I still haven't found the other ones to this. I picked it up hoping to get the rest of them, and I still haven't seen them. Uh, rapid Fire of the Batman and the TMNT team up. Just cool having Raph on the front. There is issue number two with the uh, variant cover. That is a variant cover. Uh, issue number three with a shredder and Batman in there, which is badass. Eat three Ds. There we go. Uh, this is definitely a variant cover of number four with this sad Bruce Wayne child. Batman and the Turtles with Shredder standing up there and Joker and the Riddler. What is going on? Yeah, Jizzy's gonna cup his gooch for us. I will do that at the end of the show. There's number six with. Uh, I, I like the. Uh, I just. I, I want to read it. I've heard nothing but good things. My man Trenzorg sent me this uh, good Craig comic. I read a little bit of this before my brain started melting. I, it's cool to have, but I can't understand it. Trenzorg, if you ever come back on my show, um, Irish people are weird. Uh, Han Solo, issue number three. This is actually a pretty cool series from Star Wars. I really enjoy this series. Uh, it's neat to see what happened after episode four to Han Solo and Leia, him trying to get her into bed. Uh, TMNT uh, Universe, just a cool cover. The artwork in this is pretty neat, too. It's, it's not terrible. It's um, very reminiscent of the original, and that page is stuck together. Looking at you. Uh, Jokers and Clowns! What's going on, Jokers and Clowns? How you doing, man? Dig the name. And then, uh, yeah, this, that's right, this one got ruined. The Mars Attacks versus Kiss. Yeah. Mars Attacks, that movie, and Kiss. Yeah, that band teamed up. Gooch is what? Wait, Gooch is what? I'm too Southern. Um, I believe... No, you're not Southern enough. I, I believe the Gooch is uh, that space between your balls and your butthole. I believe that is the Gooch. Yeah. All right. More rapid fire. Bill and Ted's. 
most triumphant return Bill and Ted fan huge in my life this comic book was actually kind of cool uh, still haven't fi finished it yet, but it's still pretty cool. I need to get back into comics. The pages stick together. Boom. Uh, this was I picked this up as a con. This is Surreality uh, Otherworld. And I picked it up just because the, the, the artwork was completely different. And it had gratuitous nudity in it. But the artwork in it was pretty cool. And I, I got to meet the guy who actually produced this and drew all the art in here. And uh, I asked him to actually draw me something on the front cover. Just this random piece. But th there's a lot of nerd references in this, and overall, it's a pretty cool story. So if you ever see this out there, and it's going to be rare to see it, because I, like I said, I bought this at a con, I've never seen it in any store. Uh, Gooch equals taint, yeah, which is the space between the balls and the butthole. Which is also Average Ninja and Vinny's original band. Uh, but uh, hardback, pretty kick-ass. Uh, one of the sexiest covers of all time, uh, the uh, Uncanny X-Men 277. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, basically a muscular Wolverine just wanting to bone Jean Grey, which I think we all do. Uh, a second version of the Bill and Ted's Triumph at Return. Because why not? Because <laughs> one is not enough. The weenus! That's on the back of your elbow. There's Beavis and Butthead issue number four. Anything that has boobs on it pretty much got me sucked in. I'm a boob guy. I can't help it. The only Archie comic that I own is when Predator ripped his head off. And then we've got an original, the uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 265, the holographic cover. These are just badass. Yes, the taint in your balls, the taint in your ass. Oh, J-Dub with the jokey jokes. Oh, there is the instructions for the uh, McDonald's Dino Changer. Because uh, you don't understand. Sup, eh? What's going on from Canada? Spoiler <laughs> alert, Jizzy is a hoarder. That's right, baby. Uh, Superman and the final chapter of the Phantom Zone. Just a kick-ass cover from back in the day. And when I say back in the day, it was like the 80s. Um, the Green Lantern uh, cover. Does, this is cool. This is just a kick-ass cover. Any, most of these that you're going to see right now were on the uh, comic wall. There is Iron Man fighting Santa Claus. Santa Claus! Are you still in here? Santa! Look, you're on my cover! Uh, Secret Wars number two with the Beyonder getting shot and apparently hanging out with Cloak and Dagger, which I've heard they're actually they're trying to make that into one of the spinoffs on Netflix. Oh, I'd love to see some Cloak and Dagger. Uh, Taint Thursday. Uh oh. Uh, the Submariner. Oh, this is the What If. Um, I love these What If comics. These were big in the 70s and 80s, man. Basically, they would take this normal lineage and just swap it around for any random character. There's one that came out in the mid 2000s that was One If. Uncle Uncle Ben had lived and Aunt May had died, what would happen? And it was just a cool way to see what they did. Uh, and that sub covers what I got, why you get coal. <laughs> um, Legendary Star-Lord issue one. Uh, basically Star-Lord, gotta have it. Shut up and grow up! I am. I'm way too grown up to be doing this, but thank you very much for stopping in. YTYB, uh, I'm dyslexic gaming. How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. Uh, send me the Green Lantern comic to me. What are you going to send me? This is a trade thing, man. I'm a hoarder, but I got to have something from my horse stuff. Uh, G.I. Joe. Basically, I picked this up because I have the figure in the middle. Not the roadblock, but the uh, the crazy super bot guy. Uh, I picked it up basically so I got to have the, uh, the picture together. We are almost done. We've only got this one little stack left. Oh, oh, zombie, Marvel zombies. Uh, uh, look at that, man. Anything where a chick's holding a dude's leg, I'm down for. Oh, we're still on the balls. Uh, Shadow Hawk 3. Uh, I think this is something me and Vinny started talking about originally. This is one of the things we first connected on with Shadow Hawk. I believe so. Um, Dark Rain Hawkeye. Just, I mean, a badass drawing of Hawkeye. There we go. Weird Western Tales from Blackest Night. Just kick-ass cover. Uh, hot Sexy Chick from Countdown 47. Uh, like It's like Shazam Girl, but look at that skirt. The Revengers. There's some, uh, I think this is Gen 13. I think this is when Gen 13 crossed over to the New 52. Just sexy cover in general. Some Danger Girl. You gotta have some Danger Girl if you're a comic collector. The, the artwork is enough to get you just a little flexy down there. Fizz Impossible. If Fizz, that's, that's Fizz's um, other world is what if Fizz oh. spoke sense. Well, actually, um, man, when I picture superheroes, I picture Liswitz being Green Hornet. Uh, I think that, that 
Listwitz could definitely be the Green Hornet. I don't, I don't know why, that's just how I picture him. If he's going to be a superhero, that's where he's going to do. So here is Steel from uh, Superman Man of Steel. Um, he was one of those characters that took over when Superman was killed. Oh, damn it, DM and K. Earmuffs, earmuffs. Superman was killed in like 1992, and so they had four replacements, and one of them was Steel. Uh, another sexy ass one right here. Uh, countdown. I, I still don't know who the chick is, but you got Satana on the front with her boobs, and then you got this tiny little skirt girl. Gotta have it. I'm still trying to find the mask. Now, you would make an amazing Green Hornet, I'm telling you. Uh, Enigma one night, Hornet the second night. There you go, there you go. Um, this is Spider Girl, and I actually I bought a lot of the Spider Girl series when they came out in the early 2000s. Basically, it's the daughter of Peter and Mary Jane, and uh, she's got her spider powers, and this is one of the black suits, and yeah, it's supposed to be upside down like this. That's too cool. Who's with sidekick? I mean, I guess they still have a Kano. Just too cool. Boom! See? Coach knows. Coach understands. How you doing, my man? Um, and then the last, uh, there's only three left, and that's it. Honestly, this is uh, just uh, nerd labels and stuff, so it's really nothing significant. And that's it. We got another box down. There we go. Uh, so the last three comics is all issue one of the uh, Jim Lee X-Men. And these covers actually all go together somehow. Let me find out where the, the beam is. I wasn't prepared. I'm missing one. There's four of them. Anyway, so all these covers actually go together to create one big long cover, but these were all issue number one. So you had to have all three variant covers to be able to create the long span of it. And one of these, I can't remember which one, one of them actually has the full thing that unfolds inside of it. But yeah, so uh, that's, that's what we're going to end on, which is a great note, man. It's always good to end on some X-Men stuff. Uh, so yeah, we ran just a little bit long, but not too bad. It's pretty much almost right back on time, right? Uh, but it, uh, so <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> three boxes down tonight. Great job. Did we get three? I thought we got four. Five. We got five boxes down. See, average does not know how to count. Yeah, Math is hard, but I'm not making fun of you about it. Listen, the, fatality. The nerd hole's gonna have See? some space. That's right. What's going on, Roll Mail Morgan? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. You're no, no, no. Uh, Jekyll. Like I said, when I started this originally, I, I guesstimated around a hundred boxes, and after tonight, we're close to forty. And we're not even close to the bottom. We can't even see the floor yet. It's scary. Yeah, it's Hero scary. said six boxes. Six boxes. See, Heroes is my stenographer. Uh, math is hard, right, Average? See, see, remember me, Sally Man! Welcome back. Uh, the sad truth is, that's the end of the show. Uh, we've been rolling for about an hour and 45 minutes, which is about 15 minutes too long. Uh, my voice is starting to get a little crackly, but we did a hell of a lot of damage tonight. Uh, if you guys need more nerd in your time between now and Friday, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to post more stuff, but I'm still busy as balls. Uh, and if you're missing some kind of good fun in your life, make sure you tune into Dr. Jekyll tomorrow night. Dr. Jekyll, one of the best shows I've seen in a very, very long time. Uh, tune into Dr. Jekyll. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Uh, he better do a Christmas special. Uh, but I will be back on Friday with my Christmas Spectacular. I haven't done one ever. This is my very first one. So uh, I plan to go all out, man. I, I've got something specially planned. So if you seriously like my Christmas sweater, my Mario Christmas sweater, oh, you're going to be blown the F away on Friday for my Christmas Spectacular. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for me. My name is Jizzy. This is the Nerdy Effect. Let me give you a nerd circle to take with you until Friday. Have a good couple of days, watch Dirt Donnie jerk off, and uh, talk some uh, talk some good stuff to you guys out there. Catch you guys later. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.